800 pounded alligator is the longest ever caught in the Mississippi. The gigantic animal measured 14 feet and 3 inch long, beating the previous record for the longest alligator caught by permitted hunters by more than 2 inches. Hunters have killed the longest alligator ever captured in Mississippi in the state Yazoo River. The record breaking animal measured 14 feet and 3 inches long and weighed around 802 pounds. According to the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Park, the previous record for the longest male alligator taken by a permitted hunters in Mississippi, 429 meter animal weighing 347 kilogram that hunters captured in 2017 near the western city of Nassiz. Hunters caught the new record size male on Saturday, August 26 during the Mississippi 10th day alligator hunting season which kicks off on the last Friday of the August each year according to the MDWFP. It was calm it was calm night Donald Wood who participated in the hunt told Carrison a Jackson, Mississippi new outlet. We saw a lot of eight footers, ten footers, but that's not what we are after. The hunter spotted the humongous alligator and got a hook on it around 9 p.m. local time, Wood said. But it took the team seven hours of subdue and kill the beast. We hooked him eight or nine times and he kept breaking off. Wood said it was more mentally exhausting than anything because he kept getting off. Only after hosting the alligator onto their boat did the hunters realize how gingetic it was. We were just amazed at how wide his back and how big the head was. Wood said it was surreal and tell you the truth. The team notified alligator program coordinator Andrew Arnett who officially measured and weighed the animal before announcing the new record. The hunters posed with their catch at Red enter processing a wild game processing facility in the Yazoo city. Alligators are native to the southmost US and the found all across Mississippi. It is uh, illegal to hunt and capture alligators outside of the hunting season and without a special permit from the MDWEAP. Permit holders may catch two alligators over four feet long and one over seven feet long as to distribute the hunting pressure across the adult and juvenile animals. The biggest American alligator ever recorded was of a 15-foot-9-inch giant caught in Alabama in 2014 that weighed around 459 kg. Alligator growth rate slow as they get older and depends on the animal's sex, age, and habitat. Male alligators usually grow faster and larger than females, but they rarely exceed 13 feet, means 4 meters in length. Alligators are large reptiles belonging to the family of Alligatriodae. They are closely related to crocodiles and caimans and they are often associated with wetland habitat in the southern eastern United States, especially in the state like Florida and Louisiana. Here are some key facts. Physical characteristics. Alligators have a broad U-shaped snout and are generally darker in color compared to crocodile. Their skin is covered in armored scales called scuties which help protect them. Habitat Alligators primarily inhabit freshwater environments such as swamp, marshes, lake, and river. They can tolerate a range of temperature and are known to survive in cold conditions by entering a state of torpor. Diet Alligators are carnivorous predators. Their diet include fish, bird, mammals, and other aquatic creatures. They are ambush predators and often lie in wait and their prey to come close before striking. Behavior Alligators are known for their bellowing calls, which they use to communicate and other alligators to establish territory. They are also known as to create gator holes, depression in the ground that holds water during a dry period and provide a refuge to the various species during the drought. Female alligators build a nest out of vegetation and mud, but to lay their eggs, they guard. They guard the nest protecting them from the predator until egg hatch. The sex of the hatchling is determined by the temperature of which the eggs are incubated. Conservation While alligators were often endangered due to the habitat loss and overhunting their population have recovered thanks to conservation efforts and regulation, alligators are now considered a success story in wildlife conservation.
Alligators can be distinguished from the crocodile by their broader snout and the fact that only the upper teeth of their lower jaw are visible then their mouth are closed. In contrast, crocodiles have a more V-shaped snout and display both upper and the lower teeth when their mouth are closed. While alligators are generally shy and prefer to avoid humans, and there have been instances of alligator attacked on humans, especially when people venture too close to their habitat to feed them, it's important to maintain the safe distance from the alligator in the wild. The birth of the alligator like that of many reptiles involve the process that include mating, hag, laying incubation, hatching, mating. Mating is typically occurs in the spring or the early summer when water temperature rises. Male alligator becomes more active and start searching for receptive female. Courtship behavior include vocalization, head slapping in the water surface and the physical display. Nesting after mating female alligator build nest to lay their egg. Nests are constructed using a vegetation, mud and other material found in their habitat. The purpose of the nest is to provide a safe environment for the egg and maintain a stable temperature during incubation. Female alligators lay their egg in the nest which is usually mounted a shaped structure. The number of eggs laid can vary a but can range from around 20 to 50 eggs in a single clutch. After laying the egg, the female covers them with more vegetation and mud to help regulate temperature and humidity. Incubation Their eggs are left to incubate in the warm of the nest. The temperature at which the eggs are incubated plays a crucial role in determining the sex of the hatchling. Warmer temperature tends to produce male hatchling, while cooler temperature results in female hatchlings. Hatching The incubation period of the alligator egg is typically around 60 to 70 days. As the egg develops, the embryo inside grows and eventually hatch. The hatchling uses an egg tooth. A specialized structure on this snout to crack open the eggshell. Once hatched, the hatchling remains in the nest for a short time before starting to make the vocalization after the attract the female attention. The mother alligator may assist the hatchling by gently removing them from the nest and carrying them to the water in her mouth. She offers some protection and guidance to the young alligator during the initial stage of life. However, alligators are not as a mental maternal as some other species and the hatchling are largely independent from an early age. Survival Young alligators may face many challenges in the world including predators and competition for food and shelter. Only a small percentage of hatchling typically survive in adulthood due to their challenges. It is important to note that the specific of alligator birth process can vary depending on the factors such as environment condition, habitat type, and local variation in behavior. The overall process, however, involves a condition of intellectual behavior and adaptation that contribute to the successful reproduction and survival of alligator in their natural habitats. Yes, alligators can be dangerous to humans, especially when humans come into close proximity to their habitat or engage in the risky behavior around them. While alligators' attacks on humans are relatively rare, they do occur and uh, can result in the serious injury or even death. Natural behavior Alligators are apex predators and are naturally equipped to capture and consume a variety of prey including fish, bird, mammals and other aquatic animals. While the humans are not a typical part of their natural diet, alligators can perceive humans as a potential threat or intruders, especially if they feel conned or provoked. Territory behavior Alligators can be territory and protective of their nestling site and territories. Approaching an alligator nest or getting too close to an individual alligator could trigger defensive behavior and leading to aggressive actions. Feeding behavior Feeding alligator is a dangerous and can lead to them association humans with food. So this behavior can cause alligators to lose their natural awareness of the humans and become more likely to approach people in the search of food. While alligators might appear slow and lethargic and they are capable of sudden burst of speed especially when launching at prey and their powerful jaws and sharp teeth can cause significant harm. So alligators inhabited freshwater environment like swamps, lakes and rivers especially in the southern east United States. People who swim fish or engage in their water related activities in this habitat might inadvertently come into contact with their alligators. Safety precautions to minimize the risk of alligator encounter or the potential attack or it essential to follow the safety guidelines. 
Avoid swimming in the areas known to have alligators. Keep a safe distance from alligators. Never approach, feed, attempt to interact with them. Do not provoke or concern an alligator. Keep pets and lashes and away from the water bodies where alligators might be present. Obey posted signs and guidelines in the areas with known alligators population. If you encounter an alligator that appears aggressive or approaching, back away slowly and give a plenty of space. And 4. Subscribe our YouTube channel, Big Encyclopedia Facts.